So with the Stanley Cup playoffs ongoing, it's always a bit tough for me to stay up to date on what's happening at the Worlds. But in today's matchup between Canada and Switzerland, we got one of the dirtiest plays I have seen in some time, and it obviously caught my attention. Now, coming into this game, we got two of the best teams in the group as both were undefeated in the tournament, and Joe Valeno led all Canadian forwards with two goals, three assists, as the Red Wings player is making his first World Championship appearance. And in what was a low-scoring affair early that saw no goals in the first, despite some great chances on both ends, we'll get right to the midway point of the second, where Valeno went down in a battle with Niederreiter behind the Canada net. As the teams battled for the puck, right there, it was easy to miss in real time, but Valeno stomped on Niederreiter with his skate, and obviously Niederreiter wasn't happy about it. The two continued to go at each other as the play went on before Valeno, with a nice sell job here, went down and drew the penalty. So after all of that, it was Niederreiter who got called for roughing. Let's take a closer look, because this was brutal. While fighting for the puck, Valeno Valeno would take his foot and stomp on Niederreiter's ankle with his skate blade, and I mean, what is there even to say here? This is just disgusting. Usually I would try to play devil's advocate and say he was maybe trying to gain position on Niederreiter by stepping over his leg, but I don't know if we can say that here. This looks about as clear as it gets for intent to injure, and to make it worse, after the battle in front, it was Niederreiter again who got called for roughing, and I mean, <laughs> that's a pretty good sell job there as well, as this whole sequence just does not look great on Valeno. I would be shocked if he does not see a suspension coming and to rub salt in the wound Canada on the power play would open up the scoring in the game as Tyler Toffoli would hold it and ripped one past Janome to open the scoring blocker side as Niederreiter almost can't believe it. Now for anyone wondering how the rest of the game went let's do a quick recap on that as well. Just a few minutes after that Toffoli goal it was Heischer with a beautiful move here opens up space and he scores to square right back up with a nice little flake over the glove here and it was one to one. And so after going half the game with no goals we suddenly got him in bunches. It was Haas to Marty, hits the body in front, and they score as Simeon would give the Swiss their first lead of the game. That was about it for the second, so we'll go over to the third, where Canada, with a brutal line change, gave Switzerland a four-on-two, need a rider around the net to the front, shot, and catching the rebound, they score as Ambul is able to put it home and take a two-goal lead. A big initial stop, but the Swiss get it done. Then with four to go, he sure would break up a pass, and he's all alone, almost pulls off an incredible goal here but instead Canada would take it the other way over to Hunt who rips it and they score as Carconi is there to redirect it in front and Canada was back to within one with plenty of time but Janome stood tall with a huge stop here and would keep him up and so even with the empty net Canada could not get another one to go as Switzerland would take this one 3-2 and are now 5-0 and in the tournament as Canada takes their first loss with three wins in regulation one in a shootout and now this loss to Switzerland but again it'll be interesting to see what comes of this dirt Dirty stomp Valeno made on Niederreiter. You guys let me know your thoughts down below. As always, I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.